But have you left early, uh, whether it be a football game or anything previously? Or three seven one seven double two double three before? And have you left early and missed something? My mate missed the Aguero goal, you know. The the Aguero goal, he missed it. He missed the fir- he missed the one before it as well because he went at two one. <laughs> but then he was in Piccadilly train station, uh, and Aguero's done what Aguero's done and won him the league. And he's in the train station, mate, getting his train on. Mate. He's had a shocker there, hasn't he? Absolute. Legging it back to the ground to be around it. Is that what he done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No shame. No, no shame. shame. No shame. Yeah, Just I was get... here. I saw it. No, you wasn't, mate. You missed it all. Um, keep them coming. Oh, three seven one seven double two double three double four. Sean, welcome to the show. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, my man. You sound lively, mate. Sean, have you ever left, uh, it? Have you ever left early? Yeah, I left um, Carnu hat trick against Chelsea. Oh, um, I was there. We were two 0 down, and it went two all. And I left at two all because I had to go and get home. Um, and yeah, I was gutted. I was absolutely gutted because the third goal was when he went down around the hoy. Yeah, to the top corner. Yeah. he's on the oh, he's at the goal. corner flag, isn't he? And he's yeah. playing in the top bin. Yeah, I remember Hero. very well. Hero. I think I was ball boy for that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. I was ball boy. Look at that. Eh? On the other side of the pitch, I saw there you it. Go. Yeah. Beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. Anyway, you didn't phone up for that, Sean. What you got? What do you want to get stuck into, mate? Yeah, do you know what? It's comparing Declan Rice and Conor Gallagher. Um, Who is? Conor Gallagher, yeah, when Conor Gallagher scored, I thought I just didn't like his celebration. Oh, you know, it, okay. It was, too, it was too early in the game. You know if you scored last minute? If he scored his second goal first, I'd get it. 90th minute, you got the winner, you run into the crowd. But it was like the 60th minute, and I thought to myself, well, Palace fans loved him when he was there for the season. Mm. And I was thinking, do you know what? How uh, much it means for the Palace fans <laughs> not seeing a player listen, celebrate. Sean, Sean. Sean. Like it's totally different. Like that's his parent. Chelsea's his parent club. Yeah. Like so, he's always wanted to play for Chelsea. He's come from the youth. Nah, he only yeah, spent. He but... spent. He spent. A, he spent a year on loan, a season on loan to to Palace. He's. Uh, it did. It did work for him because he did get the recognition he deserves. He's only on loan. Yeah, come but on. he was only on loan. So when yeah, you... but the fans loved him, didn't they? That's, they not, like, that's not his fault. <laughs> He's yeah, just yeah. playing football. Chelsea fans love him more. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is home. So yeah, you, but... can, you can't. You can't really. He's not what. So you don't want him to celebrate. Well, no. You saw when you saw Rice he's got a scream a top corner. Imagine scoring a stat kind of goal, scream a top corner, and just keep. But don't you think Chelsea? He, he was West Ham's captain, mate. Wasn't he? Uh, Jermaine, welcome. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Very well, my man. What do you want to say? I mean, you know, I think we played very well in the first half and Lerma had a really good goal. Um, but it's time and time again, you know, watching it in a stand, the second half, you know, we come out and we look quite lax today. It's called trying to hold on to what we've got. And again, beating, you know, defensively again, you know, Gusto was, was running rampant all game long. And he's caught us in the break and, you know, Gallagher's come in and scored his first goal. It's a shame that he's had to celebrate, really, because, you know, he was well loved by the Palace fans. And But, you know, the second goal, again, defensive mistake has cost us. And it, it's, it's games like this. I know we, we shouldn't be winning against a Chelsea star like this, but, you know, we held on for so long. And then to throw it away at the end um, is, is really frustrating for me. Um, and... Yeah. yeah, listen, I, I, I agree with you there. It was very frustrating. Um, you've done so well in the game um, to just be in the game for large parts of it, nullifying whatever Chelsea threw at you. And then to yeah. for it to just be taken away from you at the end of the game, it is cruel. But Chelsea Chelsea had to come with quality at the end of it. They made a few subs and then you just, could, you just couldn't keep up with them. And Cuckoo came on, Raheem Sterling came on, um, Cole Palmer showed his quality, and that's what it was down to at the end of the day, what? Well, yeah, 100%. I mean, you know, Palmer had it in his locker, and he showed at the end of the game what he can do, you know, and, and it is frustrating uh, as a Palace fan, you know, he's down to protesting at the start yeah. of the game, and, you know, Roy, you know, he had a good game today, but... You know, it doesn't take away what he said about the fans previously and what he said about Sam players, you know. How can the players and how can the fans, you know, support their manager when, you know, at any given time they can be thrown under the bus, you know. It is, it is frustrating for us, you know. I, I, I don't know where we go from here. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love us to stay in the Premier League, but... Will you stay you up? Know, Will you stay up, Jermaine? I hope so, but given the run of fixtures that we've got and given our form, I just... You know, they're Luton are, are still a good side, you know, and they're, and they're getting fixed the results that mm. we should be getting. So it is frustrating out there, but you know, there are teams worse than us. Um, but yeah. you know, 
think things have got to go our way and we've also got to put the performance out there. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.